YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I'm Patty and this is my handmade lifestyle. In today's video I'm going to talk about how I painted this terracotta pot and I used spray paint. It was super easy. I have spray painted pots before. Um, I did one at Christmas and it has held up beautifully. The plant is very happy. So I really don't see any big downsides to spray painting terracotta pots. It's a lot cheaper than buying a fancy ceramic pot. If you don't have that in your budget, you can get paint that matches your particular decor or design aesthetic and make a bunch of stuff that goes how you want it, which to me is the fun of DIY. Uh, personally, I'm super into this blush pink right now. I absolutely love it. And so this spray paint really spoke to me. I thought I would just show you what I used. It's this Rust-Oleum product. Uh, this is not sponsored. I bought this myself at um, Home Depot. I will uh, share with you that uh, Joann's has a, a much wider selection of colors. I was really surprised at what they had available, so uh, you might check there also uh, for your colors. But I liked this champagne pink. I was fine with that, so that's what I got. And as I set the can next to the uh, finished pot, you can see the color is pretty much right on the money. So. Um, if you're into blush pink, then this uh, champagne pink could be just what you're looking for. It also has a little bit of a pearl metallic uh, finish to it, which I like. And um, yeah, this was a really good paint. It was super easy to cover the terracotta. Uh, I will tell you, you want to use wear your old clothes because I had uh, wind blowing the day that I painted this pot and I blew paint all over my clothes. They're pretty much ruined for wearing out in public, um, but I've got a good pair of pants I can use for um, working in the, uh, in the yard. So uh, anyway, I digress. Uh, this uh, Rust-Oleum worked really well for me and I think it's super pretty. And uh, I mean, you can see like there's just a shimmer uh, to, the, to the pot. And I, um, I put roses in um, mine because I thought that they are so pretty for Mother's Day. And I really like these mini roses. I bought some last year and I had just tremendous success with them. I found that they uh, really want to be outside and they like being in a larger pot and they do really well here. I was kind of shocked at how uh, good the one I got last year is doing. Prior to having the one last year, they always died on me. And I think it's because I left them in the plastic um, nursery pot. And they really don't like that plastic nursery pot. They want to be out of that as soon as possible and into a terracotta pot. So <laughs> that's what I did. And uh, yeah, okay, let's look at the footage of how I um, painted the pot and got it to this place. So here's one of the unfortunate things that can happen when you're doing these paint projects, especially outside like this. Uh, the wind blew and um, the plastic got onto where that paint was drying and you can see that's kind of messed up. But I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's not that bad. It's a little bit messy, but it's easy to fix. Um, the rest of the pot, it looks really good. Um, this paint dries super fast. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this and um, go ahead and, and paint 
the top and we'll be uh, ready to plant our roses. Okay, that's my project for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you are inspired to try painting some of your own terracotta pots. This is like the easiest project ever. Honestly, the first time I tried it, I was really um, shocked at how easy it was and at what a good result I got. So um, hopefully you will try it yourself I think you're gonna love it and if you have any questions drop them below I will do my best to answer them and uh, gosh look at those pretty roses oh I love it so much uh, I will give you a tip um, if you make this as a gift which of course I highly recommend something like this for Mother's Day uh, if you do it as a gift, you can top dress the soil with this uh, dried moss product. I always think that looks really nice. And it will give your um, handmade gift uh, a nice professional touch. And I think it's just that much nicer than um, just dropping off at the grocery store and buying cut flowers. This really shows that you put in some time and some effort and some thought if you gift something like this to your mom or your wife or whomever it is that you love for whatever holiday or a celebration or, you know, for no reason at all or for yourself. Okay, I'm getting really punchy. I'm going to sign off. Um... Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's how you paint a terracotta pot, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.